We are continuing our discussion on who is going to be the next Washington Commander's owner. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. My name is Greg Sykes and if you're new here, thank you for joining us. If you're returning here, also thank you for joining us and returning. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. You just hit that big red shiny subscribe button and it will turn it, I think, gray or silver or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, um, also when you do, make sure that you hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. Let's get into today's video real quickly, shall we? So we're continuing our discussion about the sale of the Washington Commanders. And while we still haven't heard officially whether or not if this is a full sale, meaning is this a sale of the entire franchise or if this is just a minority stake of the franchise, all signs are pointing toward a complete sell of the franchise so in our last video we talked about jeff bezos teaming up with jay-z and selling or you know purchasing the washington commanders now if you haven't watched that video please take time to go back and watch that video um <clears throat> uh, but we all know that jeff bezos is not dan snyder's favorite person right and so there may be some roadblocks or it may be may, may not be any roadblocks with that maybe just something that would be very hard for Dan Snyder to take you know selling uh, his beloved team to his enemy pretty much but who else would be up for the purchase of the Washington Commanders you know I just uh, I just read this article here from The Athletic and it goes something like this now you know it kind of goes into what dan snyder bought the well was the washington redskins back in 99 for he purchased them for i think it was 875 million um oh no 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 um he purchased the remaining 40.5 percent of the minority stake for 875 million back in 2021 but uh, the overall team i think he purchased back in 99 for um around that much it wasn't a billion dollars he he purchased it for um some odd i want to say it was around that dollar figure it was maybe like 800 million um <clears throat> of course you know the go and say that it's unclear whether if um the snyders are considering selling they're a controlling stake or just a minority stake. But, you know, as we've heard, they did say we are exploring all options. So that tells you that everything is on the table, right? Um, it goes into the investigations. And as we all know, uh, Snyder is now being criminally investigated um, federally. And so th this could get really sticky. So how much is the commanders worth? Um, I mentioned this before in the last video. They're worth $5.6 billion. That's, that's the Forbes value. Um, and this is nearly $1 billion more than what the Denver Broncos recently sold for. <clears throat> and which was far and away a record for the NFL team. Um, so this is a base price for the Washington Commanders. So Snyder could get a lot more than 5.6 billion, especially if he sells to Jeff Bezos, right? Because Jeff Bezos, again, not his favorite person. There could be a bidding war on the Commanders and Bezos has very deep pockets. He's worth over 200 billion. So he could find $7 billion probably in his, uh, you know, couch, um, <laughs> start to say couch pockets, um, you know, is couch pillows. Anyway, um, who could even afford to buy them? Well, that's a good question. Uh, you know, of course, the Waltons uh, scooted in and bought the, uh, the Denver Broncos. Um, 
This spurned Broncos bidder Josh Harris, whose sports holdings included the Philadelphia 76ers, the New Jersey Devils. So, of course, he's a candidate. So, Josh Harris is somebody to look out for. Um, there's been some other talks as well. Of course, uh, I believe I can't think of her name right off the bat. Um, uh, but the uh, the lady who was over the Mars Company, you know, all the the luscious chocolate candies, <laughs> M and M's, which are my favorite, by the way. Um, she could possibly be someone who is um, a candidate to purchase the team. That would be interesting. Um, so there are definitely there are definitely people who are going to be in line and waiting. And as we talked about in the last video, there were reportedly at least four groups that or four parties that had come forward to express their interest in purchasing the Washington Commanders. I believe a deal has probably already been done, or at this point, um, the bidding has already started, right? Um, we already know, or Dan probably already knows, he's got someone who's going to, you know, shell out the money, and he's just sitting back waiting to see who's going to be the highest bidder. And at that point, the the next owners will be chosen, and it will be voted on by the league, and I'm sure the league's going to be unanimous in their vote for, you know, the sale. The sale will probably go through pretty quickly, I would imagine. Um, and then I would definitely say by next year, we will have a new owner of the Washington Commanders. Now, will it be Jeff Bezos? You know, Jeff Bezos has a lot of friends in the NFL. Uh, JC uh, has a lot of partnerships in the NFL. I think he is in charge of the halftime shows at the Super Bowl, from what I've heard. So, you know, he has a lot of ties, and, you know, he would love to be somewhat of a minority stakeholder, at least in an NFL team, and, and so this would be his opportunity if Jeff Bezos is willing to uh, let him have some sort of a minority stake. <clears throat> Not that Jeff Bezos needs it. Um, this Josh Harris seems like he's really chomping at the bits to have an NFL franchise. You know, he obviously, he knows about running sports franchises uh, since he's invested in other sports franchises, you know, professional franchises. So um, it's good to know that you have somebody who is invested into sports franchises who will basically know how to run a sports franchise, right? You know, you put in, you hire in the right individuals to run the show and you sit back and you let them run it. And that's what I hope happens. And you not have someone who's meddling, like Dan Snyder has, who's trying to run the show, who's who's trying to make it into his own, you know, money making profit thing for his yacht. <clears throat> Let's see what happens, folks. So yeah, this is video number two on this subject. There's probably gonna be many other videos on this. I will try to come out with actual football videos, so not to worry about that, folks. But we do have to talk about this because obviously this is a big subject and Let's, well, let's just go into the next one, okay? Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.